At our Skeynes Hill site, the Scandia Hoos team has handed over the timber frame structure to the main contractor for completion of the project. Work can now proceed, both internally and externally, commencing with the roof. The tilers start by fixing the horizontal tile battens and bumping out the tiles. Finally, the small clay tiles are hung and the bonnet hips are carefully positioned and cemented in. The bricklayers have also commenced work. In this development, reclaimed bricks from the Midlands are used to create a more authentic Tudor look. Inside the building, the carpenters install safety rails and decks prior to fixing the ceiling battens and commencing the construction of the non-load-bearing partition walls. It's essential that plumbers and electricians work closely together to quickly progress first fix wiring and plumbing. Pipes and wires are laid within the joist frames with spurs dropped inside the walls for satellite and digital TV, phones, computers, internet, home cinema, multi-audio system, surround sound, alarm system and CCTV. On the attic floor, two layers of rigid insulation are fixed along the sloping ceilings right to the apex, followed by a continuous vapour barrier which is securely stapled across the whole roof area. With the roof insulation and vapour barrier in place, work can begin on plasterboarding the ceilings, starting with the ground floor. The external wall panels arrive on site factory fitted with 70mm rigid insulation boards. On completion of the first fix services, an additional layer of fibreglass is applied to the inside of the panels and sealed with a continuous vapour barrier. In the sitting room, work is underway with the construction of an ingle nook fireplace. The same reclaimed bricks are used and carefully pointed. When the brickwork to the lower half of the house has been completed, the bricklayers press on with the blockwork above. Meanwhile, the tilers have finished the roof and solar panels have been installed on the garage roof. The finished block walls are subsequently given a first coat of render and, once dry, solid oak feature timbers are fixed to the walls to achieve the desired Tudor-style appearance and a top coat of render is applied. Work inside the house is progressing well. The ceilings and internal walls to all three floors have been plasterboarded and the dry liners have moved in to tape and joint the seams in readiness for the decorators. In the kitchen family room, the underfloor heating system is being installed. Waterborne pipes are run from individual manifolds on each floor and securely clipped into position. On the ground floor, the pipes are laid on 70mm thick insulation boards and subsequently covered by a carefully levelled 70mm screed. The solid oak staircase has arrived from Sweden ready for installation. Each section is a precise fit and the beautifully turned balusters and curved handrail combine to make this a real design statement, complemented by solid oak internal doors and oak flooring. Meanwhile, the painters apply the final coat to the exterior of the building, carefully cutting in along the oak beams. To book an appointment to view our homes, please contact Scandia Hoos Limited. Telephone 01342 838 060.